The latest Microsoft 365 Fundamentals MS-900 dumps are new updated. You will practice real MS-900 questions and answers to best prepare for your coming exam and pass your Microsoft MS-900 exam successfully. By passing MS-900, Microsoft 365 Fundamentals exam, you will earn Microsoft 365 Certified Fundamentals Certification. Question 1. You are a Microsoft 365 administrator for a company. You use products that are in private preview, public preview, or general availability, GA. You need to determine at which phases you can receive support from the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. For which product phase or phases can you receive support? A. GA private preview and public preview b ga and private preview only c ga only d ga and public preview only e public preview and private preview only answer c question 2 a company uses Microsoft 365. Employees frequently work from home. They must be able to access custom applications that are not installed on their personal laptops. You need to identify a solution that meets the requirement. Which solution should you choose? A. Microsoft Access B. Power Virtual Agent C. Microsoft Remote Assist D. Windows Virtual Desktop E. Microsoft Teams Answer. D. Question 3. You are the Microsoft Office 365 Administrator for a company. You need to perform security and compliance reviews before new updates are distributed to the entire company. What should you implement? A. Standard releases B. Microsoft 365 Enterprise Test Lab C. Targeted releases D. Fast Track Answer. C. Question 4. A company is a Microsoft 365 reseller. The company does not provide managed services or direct customer support. You need to provide licenses for customers and earn commissions for each license sold. What should you do? A. Buy licenses for customers by using the Microsoft Admin Portal. B. Sign up as a cloud solution provider direct reseller. C. Sign up as a cloud solution provider indirect reseller. D. Buy licenses for customers from a Microsoft authorized distributor. Answer. D. Question 5. A company deploys Exchange Online and SharePoint Online. You must audit an assessment report for the Microsoft 365 cloud services that the company uses. You need to provide the required documents. Which Microsoft site should you use to obtain this information? A. Compliance Manager B. Service Trust Portal C. Office 365 Security and Compliance Center D. Azure Portal Answer. B. Question 6. You are the Microsoft 365 Administrator for a company. All staff must use Microsoft Outlook to access corporate email. When users access Outlook on mobile devices, they must use a PIN to open the application. 
You need to implement a Microsoft Intune policy to enforce the security requirements. Which policy should you use? A. Device Compliance B. Device Configuration C. App Protection D. App Configuration Answer. C. Question 7. You are the Microsoft 365 administrator for a company. You install Microsoft Office 365 Pro Plus on five devices. You deactivate the Microsoft Office 365 Pro Plus license on one device. Which task can you perform on that device? A. Start a new document from a template. B. Create a document. C. Co-author a document. D. View a document. Answer. D. Question 8. A company plans to purchase Microsoft 365 Enterprise Licenses. Which two options can you use? Each correct answer presents a complete solution. Note. Each correct selection is worth one point. A. Through a cloud solution provider, CSP. B. From the Microsoft website using a corporate credit card. C. From the Microsoft Retail Store. D. With an enterprise agreement. EA. Subscription from Microsoft. Answer. A. D. Question 9. You are the Microsoft 365 administrator for a company. You need to customize a usage report for Microsoft Yammer. Which two tools can you use? Each correct answer presents a complete solution. Note. Each correct selection is worth one point. A. Microsoft SQL Server Analysis Services. B. Microsoft SQL Server Reporting Services. C. Microsoft Power Buy in a browser. D. Microsoft Power by Desktop E. Microsoft Visual Studio Answer. C. D. Question 10. You need to ensure that the process by which users sign into Microsoft 365 confirms the identity of the user. Which feature should you use? A. Mobile Application Management, MAM B. Advanced Threat Protection, ATP C. Multi-Factor Authentication, MFA D. Data Loss Prevention, DLP, Policies Answer, C.